Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Real Talk with B. Back at it again, and you know how we do. We just gonna dive right on in it. We're gonna talk about uh, Adrian Slay's variety today, y'all. Look, man, people tried to ride with her. I know I was on like this. I was trying to vibe her out, y'all. But I'm gonna start this with this. Disclosure. I'm not coming for you still, Adrian. I'm not coming for Walt. I'm just keeping it real, feel me? Adrian, you was wrong. You got on here and tried to belittle your brother. I'm not going to disrespect you, but I'm going to tell you you're wrong. That's a family issue. Y'all could have addressed that like you said you addressed it, and that could have been the end of that. So people feel like, you know, he was in your apartment, and y'all could have finished it, squashed it, talked about it, all of that, and let bygones be bygones, and he could have went back to Milwaukee. But because you didn't do that, you hopped on here and started talking crazy about him. People feel like you clout chasing. That's neither here nor there for me. You feel me? I got brothers and sisters. I would never get on here and slander them, talk bad about them, run their name through the YouTube streets. None of that to belittle them. And make them look bad. Family's supposed to always stick together. I do videos all the time. Now you got on here talking about, you know, he he's slow. Lie, he a liar. He a user. Excuse my French, y'all. You called him a bitch. Who does that to their family? On social media anyway, that is. You over here talking about money this, money that. Everything that you talked about in your video, eh? It reverted back to money and what you wanted him to do for you. He don't have to do nothing for you. He addressed it in all his videos that he was not staying in Florida. But this man still drove you the whole way. You didn't drive a mile. And you felt like coming for him. He gave you a band, thousand. To go on the truck. And you still complaining about it. He wasn't moving his stuff. That's your stuff from your house. He still helped out. You feel me? Then you say you want $100 for the weed. Part of the weed that you had. You said you already had that. So you smoked him out. That's the end of that. People do that every day and don't be like, hey, man, you owe me money, bro. Don't nobody do that. You did that. That's your brother. You probably neglecting to talk about the times he probably smoked you out too. You say he bought a little bit of food. You know what I'm saying? I bet he did because the videos y'all do, y'all be eating. You chose to move out there. That's your apartment. I could see if he said he was going to move in and do whatever he was going to do, but he made it very clear to everybody that he wasn't staying there. Me personally, I wouldn't have drive to Flo I wouldn't have drove to Florida just to drop you off and chill for a day or two. I wouldn't have did it. I no. I hate taking 2-hour trips to go see my mom or my brother. I know how that feel. You be tired, your back be hurting, your leg. No. So the hours he put in, psh, and you gonna wild out on him like this? Y'all been doing videos for what? About three weeks, maybe a month? And he gave you a ban to help you move. <laughs> then you say that he's not Loyal? You thought y'all's bond was going to be... Y'all had a bond. You just ruined it. But let me get this straight. Long as Walt was doing things that you like to do and kept giving you your views and everything on social media, 
everything was smooth because you ain't made no video in about a month while y'all been doing these videos. Nothing negative about him. Nothing bad to say about him at all. Y'all been on there laughing, giggling, having fun. But since he didn't stay there, now you come out with this video. And at first, I was hesitant to get on here and even say anything. Because I was like, uh, what if Walt did the things you said he did? Let's go with that route. What if Walt didn't give you an extra thousand dollars? What if Walt smoked your shit? Excuse my French, y'all. Smoked your stuff. And then give you nothing back on it. Is that is that is that how you look at the friendship? If I do something for you, you gotta do something back, you gotta give it back, you gotta pay it back. Not where I'm at. If I'm already doing something and you come, I don't smoke. But I'm saying, if I was doing it and then you come and you get in rotation, or I tell you I already got it, let's go, bro. A month later, I'm not gonna ask for that back. That's crazy. Or you could have did some stuff. You a smoker, right? You could have been like, let's match him. You ain't said nothing about that in video. You ain't talked about his breath. You ain't talked about him not showering. On that note, Sin got on here and was like, you lying. You apologize to her. She said she don't even want your apology. I wouldn't either. You caused all that drama with them. And now you sitting over here doing this to your own brother. Why? Because he didn't want to be a roommate? Because he want to keep stay there and then you over here talking about he got to pay this and pay that when he wasn't staying there anyway? I don't know what you call that. I think he did a little bit more than what he was supposed to do, to be honest. That was your stuff. You was moving there. Then you had the nerve to say you had to pay somebody to help him Move your stuff in the house. It's your place. Your brother was trying to help. I'm a big guy. I'm still not picking up no refrigerator, no couches by myself. What? Are you crazy? No. You supposed to pay that. Or whoever you met down there. They should have offered to help or they should have did something with that. You feel me? You probably be like, nah, it wasn't their place. You know, we just met with you. I don't know. But if they was feeling you and they liked you, they would. If I was feeling a female and we went out and I'm like, okay, you moving out here and I plan on talking to you, I'm going to be like, all right, bet. I come through and help you move your stuff in. The fact that he didn't offer that to you should let you know that you shouldn't even talk to him anyway. But I don't know that here nor there. I'm here to talk about you and how you deal with Walt and what's going on. So you say you went and knocked on the door, right? <laughs> he responded, but it wasn't a response that you wanted. And he didn't come out the room because he was packing. You said he was packing, came out with all his stuff and ready to go. If I came and helped you and I was with you, I've been doing these collabs with you. I'm sure he didn't charge you nothing. He not supposed to because y'all brother and sister, you feel me? But some do though, but he didn't. You got your views, subscribers, all that coming up off that. You know what I'm saying? Then you start asking for more than what he offered you to help you with your stuff. He don't got to pay your bills. That's your brother. If he chose to say, hey, I'm going to throw you a little something, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. But he don't have to. He's not obligated to do that. Walt is a grown man. He's single. So he could kind of move around the way he want to. And can't nobody really say nothing about it. You feel me? He can move how he move. You not his girl. You got on here talking your ish like you was his girl that he just left up out of there. Just the other day, Walt was terrified to get on planes. You feel me? He talking about he wasn't hopping on no plane until they invented, they gave parachutes on that bad boy to where they could have that if the plane going down. 
that man hopped on a plane. You didn't even know he got a plane. You thought he was rolling around Florida. Please, bro, come back. Bro, come back till you find somewhere you could stay. And he was on. He, he was at the uh, airport, waiting on his flight to take off. This man didn't even want to ride on no planes. Hopped on it to get up out of there. I don't know what y'all conversation was that made him hop on something that he was scared of just a day or two before. I don't know, but it had to be something crazy. Probably that extra band you was asking for. Ain't nobody, I don't care if you're relevant, none of that just going to keep paying your stuff, dude. I understand if y'all chose to live together. Yeah, if y'all live together, he should pay half. Whatever arrangement y'all come to, that's on that. You expected too much from him. And when I say that, just because a person helps you when you ask, don't mean they have to go beyond that and give you more than that. You should have been appreciative of that because he wasn't moving his stuff to Florida. That whole trip was for you. And he made it very clear. You got on there bashing him. You say you went to Florida for meet new people. No drama, none of that. But then you hopped on here and bashed your brother. That's drama. And if you're there to meet new people, go meet new people. I'm not coming for you, but go do what you went there to do. You ain't got to bash your brother. He ain't did nothing to you. He was looking out for you. I don't know. I know you say when he came, you know what I'm saying? First you said, when he came, you gave him a key out the gate to the crib. That's what you said. Then, not even 15 seconds later, you said, but when he got there, he just showed up. Which one is it? I'm not coming for you. Which one is it, though? Because you said you gave him a key out the gate. Not even 15 seconds later, it's he just showed up. He had his stuff. It was almost like, well, just started living with you. That's what you said. Come on, man. Listen to yourself when you talk. You contradicted yourself right there. Then you say he took your car. He was going all night. He didn't put gas in it. But hold up again. Not even 10 seconds later after that. You say when he first came, he was putting gas in the car. You say your tires was low. So you knew they was low. You was waiting for him to do it so you didn't have to do it. <laughs> so you wanted him to just come in and start doing everything? That's not cool. Whatever you was doing before you allowed your brother to come and chill, you should have kept doing that. You shouldn't expect him to do nothing. And if you wanted him to do something, that should have been set before you let him come with you. See, nobody knows what conversation took place while you were, you know, at the airport picking him up or while you was handing him the key or, you know what I'm saying? None of that. But if it was established before, anybody I know, I know that I would be like, okay, cool. We established that. We said that. That's what it is. But Walt, you know, he go on his videos, you on a video, and he say, I'm not staying in Florida. So you wanted him to stay. You wanted Walt to do what you wanted to do. This comes off as kind of like possessive or uh, dang near narcissistic, really. So you the type of person, I'm not telling you this is you, but you the type, the type that you got going on right now with what you're doing and saying is everything is okay as long as Walt was doing whatever it was that was beneficial towards Adrian. When somebody is doing whatever, something beneficial towards you, everything is cool. But the moment they do something out of the box, you're going to get on here and bite. Then you say you're going to come at him. Because he don't want to live with you. 
That don't make sense. You picked that apartment. He didn't. It's a nice apartment. You say he can't come up in here and live like this for free. He didn't want to live there. <laughs> That's the thing. He didn't want to live there. You wrong. You caught him out his name. You start talking crap about him. You start saying stuff that was false about him. He didn't take baths. He didn't brush his teeth. Then Sin came on here who you was talking about at first and backed him up. She said she don't care. She might not never see him again, but she's not going to let you come on here and do that to him. Because Walt is a nice guy. He's real chill and laid back. And that's what he shows us through these videos. That's the impression we get. But the videos that you got, you always coming at somebody. You're, you're hardly talking about you, yourself, what you got going on. I haven't even seen uh, uh, Adrian dress of the day or whatever you called it. You ain't even been doing your little whatever you want to call that in your little tight outfits. You, been, you still been focused on seeing now you're on your brother. That looks bad for you. I don't care if you get on here and say nothing about me. I got all the free time in the world, but I'm not going to indulge in all that. You feel me? I'm just getting on here saying you was wrong for that. And I hope that time you can think about it and then apologize to y'all brother and y'all can make up. I'm not like everybody else. I'm not saying you a bad person. I'm just saying this right here, what you pulled, it was wrong. Family should mean more than you than coming on him and dragging him like that. You asked him for another band. I would have ran up out of there. Walt said he didn't have no money. Why everything got to do with money with you? You couldn't just accept the fact that he drove you down there threw you a band, which he also said because he went and did a video. Uh, you can keep that. I would say the same thing too, just so I didn't have to deal with the hassle of, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But I do hope that y'all can make up and do what you do and everything be cool from it, you know what I mean? Uh, the fact that you brought up what he's supposed to go do with his nephew, that, that ain't got nothing to do with you. What was the point of even airing that out too? Who cared what his nephew about to do? Him and Dalvin, he could have been like, hey, whenever you get ready, um, you can come on out here and I'll try to get you into the uh, place that I'm at. I don't know if you turn the words around, but in my head, that's what I'm thinking because well, he like a free spirit. He he is, you know, roaming around, going where he want to go. He he do got these women out here, but he a single man. He can do that. Just like the last one, back when we was talking about the same thing, he a grown ass man. He could do what he want to do. He didn't have to stay with her. He don't got to stay with you. This genuinely Nisha chick, he don't even got to stay with her. But to each his own. I can't get on that. I'm just getting on the wrong thing that you did. So, your brother went back to Milwaukee. How about you sit back? You say you got your bread. You're going to do what you do anyway. Stop putting salt on your brother's name. Quit trying to belittle him. And let your brother go be great doing whatever it is he's doing. You should support him. That's what family does. Family supports You know, I just can't believe that, you know what I'm saying, you, it, it got to this point with y'all. Just the other day, y'all was good. You got to do better, Adrian. I, I know, I, you know, if you bipolar, whatever case may be, that's no excuse because... You grown and you got a mind. I know 
I got family who bipolar. And I hope that you can um, take a breath, take your meds, and get back on track and figure out what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? I want to see you, Walt. Hey, I want to see y'all make up, man. I don't know if you will. Right now, I'm sure Walt going to be cool with it eventually if you apologize. You know what I'm saying? Walt real laid back, real cool. That's why I'm just sitting here over like, dang, you just went at him hard. You know what I mean? If he didn't want nothing to do with you, he wouldn't have left with you. He wouldn't have, man. Let you tell it, though. You didn't even need his money. This whole thing is about money and what he didn't give you. Financially. When you was back where you say he was at... You said it was what, uh, bills, electric, and, and internet or something. Y'all love for Walt to pay the internet, don't you? Because, <laughs> boy. You say you weren't hurting on rent. You didn't ask him for rent. Cool. You out here belittling him. But then you trying to uh, make your situation small too. Talking about some, I got government assistance. No, no, what'd you say? That's what it is, government assistance. Call it what it is. Talking about some cause of COVID and, 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 and if you behind, and, and but you don't get behind. That's what you said. No, it's government assistance. You get the same thing that other people get. That's what, that's what you get. And honestly, there's a good chance. I don't know how it is out that way, but you probably got to reapply it. I'm probably sure you will. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. But I understand how you can say that you need it and you went through a struggle and then you try to uh, take somebody down with you and talk about them and what they do and talking about he need to get his own place. He He's a user. He's a this and that using that. What's it called when you, when you, I have to stop, man. I have to check myself. I don't know. This was annoying to even hear about. It was annoying. I'm not going to lie. But like I say, I'm not going to get on here and bash you. I'm not going to get on here and call you out your name and do all that stuff that everybody doing. I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to say, hey, you go pray about the situation. And I hope you find in your heart to apologize and I, I hope you and Walt can fix this because family is important. Family means everything. At least to some people. But you was wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong coming at your brother like that. You didn't have to air out none of that. You didn't have to get on here and say none of the stuff you said. You could have went directly to him because he was there. You got his phone number. You know, you could have texted him like you texted him. Hell, we don't even know if he answered the text because all the messages you showed on your video was all from you. There wasn't even a response on there. It was just all kind of stuff that you were saying. It. I got to say this. If Walt was bad as you say, not worth nothing, he's a user, he's a liar, he's not real or sincere and all this other stuff and not helping you, why would you say, please, bro, come back? Why would you want him to come back? Because that's your brother? No. Nah. Because if that's the case, if you felt that kind of uh, sympathy for him, you would have never got on YouTube and blasted him on here. You wouldn't have got on here talking crazy and greasy about him. So I don't believe that. You wanted him to come back because you realized that it wasn't going to be no more collabs. And I'm just going to keep it real. If he would have came back before you made this video, this video would never have been put out that you did. I truly believe that. Y'all would have been on here smiling, hee hee and eating, doing whatever it is y'all be doing. But since he didn't, you hopped on here and got him. But you really didn't get him. You got yourself. 
everybody out there, this right here should have motivated you. Everybody else out there was like, man, I don't know why I won't uh, believe her. She's going to stab him in the back next. He going to be the one on here and she going to be talking about him. You prove the people right. That was This could have been your chance to just let, let it go, let it drop. Because it wasn't even that serious. You did exactly what the people said you was going to do. Not cool. Not cool, man. But you know, like I said, you wanted him to pay for your apartment. You wanted him to do all this stuff. It wasn't his responsibility. You trying to treat him like he your sugar daddy. He your brother, man. That That's crazy. You trying to treat him like one of your Johns out here. He's not that. He's your brother. You can't tell that man what to do. And you can't expect him to do nothing for you that you ain't even trying to do for yourself. You want him to pay for everything. Drive me here. Pay half of this. Pay half of that. He just said he... He only his whole life he only been around you for these three four weeks, and you already in his pockets. Nah, that ain't how that worked, man. That ain't how that worked. So you sent over talking about you felt betrayed. Nah, you betrayed your brother. That's what the real is on this. But I ain't gonna hold everybody on here, y'all. And uh, I'm sorry if anybody take anything out of this out of context. If anybody want to do whatever, but uh. Hey, do what you got to do. You know, Adrian, you was wrong, man. You got to make amends for this. You got to apologize to your brother and get something done with it. You do. You and your brother need to make up at the end of the day. It's going to take time. You know me, peace and positivity, no negativity. But I will tell people when they wrong. I only know what you put out here and you put out some negativity. So I hope that... If you see this or whoever, your people see it, your cut-ups, and then they come tell you, you look at the, you know, positivity is, I'm wishing positivity towards you, but you got to get your crap together, man. You got to figure out what it is that keep driving people away from you. Any man that see this is not going to want to deal with that. I'm sorry. I don't know, but hey, I'm not coming after nobody. You feel me? Everybody grown, everybody gonna do what they wanna do. But I had to hop on here and say what I wanted to say and what, you know, get my little input on it and what I felt like I needed to say about it. Cause it was wrong. Because I sat on here and I was like, hey, she kind she seemed kind of cool. And I was like, man, you ain't did nothing cool, man, since this whole situation happened. But anyway. I'm up off here because uh, Walt is living his life and he's smiling, happy. He over there with genuine Nisha. So, Nisha, sorry, gen genuinely Nisha. So, you know, he doing his thing. He over there smiling, happy, uh, doing his thing. And I hope that you go ahead and go off and smile and do your thing too. I wish the best for everybody. But this is Real Talk with B. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you got something to say about it, hit me in the comments and I will come back with you and talk to you. So, Till next time, salute, peace out.